again to another episode of Lecture's Corner. I'm Las Columbus. My name is Marcus Rudolph. And again, as always, it is our joyful <laughs> and joyful. merry... Joyful at that, exactly. Uh, chaplain, <laughs> Father, <laughs> Father Martin, Martin Gladys, for the most sacred heart of Jesus. Thank you so much again, Father, for being with us. It is Christmas time. Everybody's celebrating thinking about gifts, thinking about things of a joyful, merry way. But again, we have to put some concentration on the church as well. Talk about the Advent time during this time and what the significance is that for the, for the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. First, we have a very short Advent in this year mm -hmm. because it's always the fourth, the four Sundays. Mm -hmm. But we have a, this year just three weeks because the last uh, Sunday of the Advent this year is the Christmas Eve. Mm. So it will be just three weeks, so very short time, but we can use it. Mm -hmm. What is Advent? Advent is the joyful preparation for the Christmas. This is what the Advent time is. It's a joyful preparation for the Christmas. But in the history of the Church and in the liturgy, is also the time of preparation is more time about the reflection, even penance. Mm -hmm. It's not the same time of penance like a Lent, but even in the liturgy we can see that we will use the purple color. Yeah, the purple color who is showing us, you know, slow down, prepare yourself for the meeting with Christ on the Christmas. So we can use this time as a preparation, not just a house preparation, not a just decoration, mm -hmm. the preparation of our soul. The preparation as our heart to meet with Jesus, to understand what's going on in Christmas. I know that the world around us is not helping, yeah? No. It's not helping because we have a Christmas since uh, Thanksgiving finished. So. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, think about this. What kind of preparation for yourself you can do? Maybe it will be not the resolutions like you're doing the Lent. Mm -hmm. But maybe make this time a little more holy than the other times. Advent is a beautiful time. Advent, even if this is the preparation in penance, it's still joyful. Thank you, Father. We have another Holy Day of Opportunity coming up, as, as you were yeah. describing last month. We have the Immaculate Conception. Can you explain the significance of that feast and why it's so important in our, in our church? So this is the beginning from the Genesis, mm -hmm. yeah? When the Adam and Eve they they make a first sin, mm -hmm. uh, since this moment uh, God said to Eve that she will give a birth, the, the labor in the pain, and uh, since this moment every person who is born, it's it's born with the original sin, and this original sin we are washed away because of the death of Jesus on the cross on the day of our baptism. And we are free of the original sin anymore because Jesus died for us on the cross. But God prepared one person who born without the original sin. And this is why we are call, calling uh, Mary Immaculate because her conception, it was without sin, without the original sin. Mm -hmm. So she is the only one person since how many hundred thousand years in the past and in the future that born that her conception was uh, without sin and this is what we are celebrating we are because the after nine months on uh, september 8th we are celebrating the birth of mary but this is the day of her conception this is the day of her holy conception. Why God give this, this gift for Mary? Because of the future fruits of the Jesus Passion. So, 
to be ready to be a mother of God, God prepare her since conception. Thank you very much, Father. I'll... And one more thing about the Immaculate Conception. Please. Why? Because last month I promised that yes. I would talk about yes, please. why Immaculate Conception is the holiday of obligation in the United States, but for example in Poland it's not. Because Immaculate Mary is the main patron of the United States. So, as you know, every diocese, every uh, church, like our church is dedicated to the uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus. Right. Our diocese is dedicated to um, John Paul II. Mm -hmm. But the whole Catholic Church in the United States is dedicated to Immaculate Conception. Mm -hmm. And to celebrate, this is the celebrating feast of the Catholic Church in the United States. This is the main uh, solemnity for the Catholics in the United States. Again, as the last month we said, where is the better place and when is the better time to celebrate something like this? Holy Eucharist. So we have another holiday of obligation and even more opportunity. We learn so much from him. Thank you, Father. I yield the floor to you to provide the men and our viewers with the <coughs> chaplain's message. So let's go back to the Advent. All right. Let's go, let's back, go back to the Advent because it's it's really important time. It's really important time that because of you know of the world around us, we can lost you know contact. What is this? Yeah? We can lost the meaning of the Advent. Um, when I came first time to United States, it was weird for me. <laughs> that the Christmas is celebrating before Christmas, mm -hmm. not after Christmas. Mm -hmm. All decorations is in December. Mm -hmm. yeah? In my country, in Poland, all decorations, we are decorated um, houses and everything for Christmas, in Christmas Eve, and we are holding this decoration until February 2nd. Oh, wow. uh, so, so it was sweet for me. Mm -hmm. I understand it's a different, different culture. Different culture and uh, uh, different understanding mm -hmm. and it's fine it's 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 beautiful because we are still celebrating the christmas of the the birthday of jesus christ and right. this is more important how we will celebrate it Correct. but this could be it's not helpful i think i am afraid maybe i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong but it's not helping to understand the meaning of of advent because we are still, uh, we are already in Christmas, mm -hmm. and uh, as I say at the beginning of, of this our meeting, please, brothers, do something special during this time of the Advent. In the new year, we are making uh, new resolutions. resolutions, so maybe make uh, some resolution for the Advent. During the land, you are making the resolutions that you will not eat the meat, that you will not uh, drink, you will not smoke, <coughs> you will not drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Maybe something like this. Maybe this kind of preparation. Maybe come to the church more often, not just a Sunday. I am not talking about the coming. It will be beautiful if you will have a time. But I understand that we are, we are working and it's it's... Uh, masses is not 8 p.m. but because it probably will be the best time to come for the mass. Mm -hmm. But maybe visit the church. Maybe you are driving next to the church, going to home. Maybe not even our church. Maybe other churches, Catholic churches. Stop by. Maybe this is the good resolution. What I want to say to you today in this message: make some resolution for us. You've been tremendous. And I would say, uh, personally, we've been doing the Lectures Corner for a little bit over a year now. I really appreciate the opportunity. Father, you have been absolutely wonderful um, with this project, and we just want to say thank you so much for doing this. Please listen to Father. He is a wealth of knowledge. He provides us with so much good content. He adhere to what he says, especially with the power of prayer, and be consistent with your prayer. And as always, let God be your God. Ho, ho, ho. Feliz Navidad. Good night. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.